This is a quick video on showing how you can use a button in Unity to switch scenes. I'll be showing this with both the Text Mesh Pro and Legacy buttons. Let's get started. Okay, for my example, I'm just using a basic 2D project, but this could also be programmed the same way using 3D. I need to do a little bit of setup to start, so let's get our two scenes made. So for this first scene, I will want a button go to UI, and for this first one, let's use the legacy one, and I will go to button. Now it pops in kind of at a weird spot, and if you want to see it more clearly, you can simply double click on that button, and it centers it. If you'd like to see where it is in relation to the canvas, you can double click on the canvas, and you should see an outline there, and we can move the button to where we'd like it to go. So I'm clicking on the move tool, going to the button and moving that. So this is the legacy button. I'm just wheel mousing in to look a little bit closer. So if I'd like to make a text mesh pro button, I'll show you that as well. The coding ends up being the same. So if I wanted a text mesh pro button, I would say plus UI and go here to button text mesh pro. That one will give us more control over the look. If you're using a text mesh pro text or button, it will ask you to import some TMP Essentials. So if that pops up, go ahead and click OK. It'll import some things to your project, and then you can close this window. And in this case, here is my button. For both of these, if I go to the little triangle over in the hierarchy, underneath button, there is a text element. And if I click on that and go over to the inspector, that's where I can change the text. So I could say go to scene two, and I could do the same for the Text Mesh Pro. So here I'm going to do the little arrow, click on the text element, and over in the inspector. Now for yours, you'd probably just make one button. I just wanted to show you how they work about the same. If I hit play, we can see where it is in the scene, and I just have my buttons there. Okay, so that's all set up. Let me save my scene, and I'm going to go ahead and say save as, and let's name it something. So I'll go in scenes, and let's call this, I'll call this um, scene one. Okay, so now let's make the scene that we would like to go to, and then we'll come back and do the code after. So to make a new scene, I go up to file, new scene. And since I'm doing 2D, I'm just going to do the basic 2D. And notice it's just a blank scene. So now I'm just going to put some text just so we know that we're on the next scene. So to add this text, I'm going to click the plus UI, and I'll choose the Text Mesh Pro because it can look a little nicer. Over in the inspector, I can change the text here. So I'm going to say this is scene two. I can use this bounding box or rectangle tool to resize the text box. In the inspector, I can change the alignment and color and effects and things like that, however I'd like it. So now I want to go ahead and save this scene too. So I'll go File, Save As, and along with my scenes, I'm just going to call it Scene 2. Okay, so let's go back to the scene with the buttons. So I can go to File, Open Recent Scenes, and go back to Scene 1. Now I need to make some code to control that these buttons will take me to the next scene. So in the assets, I'm going to right click, create C sharp script, and I can name this whatever I want. I'm just gonna call this change scenes. Okay, so let's go into that C sharp script. So I'm just double clicking. Inside of here, since I am only using this script to change scenes, I can actually get rid of the start and update methods. I'll be making a new method to control my button. So I'm going to go ahead and make a method. I'm going to call it public. I need to say void because it's not returning a value. And I'll call this go to scene two. Need parentheses and curly braces. Now this is the method that I will connect to my button, and here is where I'll say go to the other scene. To do that, we're going to be using something called Scene Manager. 
Now it will need a directive up here, but it often puts that in for you automatically. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if it does that, and if not, I will type it in after. So to go to the next scene, we will type scene manager dot load scene. And then in the parentheses, I'm gonna say the scene name in quotes. And a semicolon. Now notice it automatically added this directive at the top. So if that doesn't come in, you will need to type using unityengine.scenemanagement. If that's not there, I'm just gonna comment that out for a second. It won't know how to run this. And if there's like a little red line under scene manager, it's probably because that directive isn't in place. So this is really all the code I need. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this and back to Unity. And then what I need to do is connect these buttons to the script. So in the buttons themselves, if you click on them and go to the inspector and scroll down, there is an on-click section, and that's where we'll be connecting the code. And this works the same for both of them. So on on-click, I click the plus to add a, an action it will run. What we need to do is connect our script to something in the hierarchy and then put that object in this box. So there are different places you could put it. You could make a new game object for the script. I've seen people connect it to the canvas since it's controlling the UI. I've seen people put it on the button. I'm gonna put mine on my canvas. So now the canvas has the change scene script attached to it. So back to the button. I wanna make sure that the canvas is attached to here because that holds my script. So I can do that a couple of ways. I can while this is up, I can click and drag my canvas to this. Or I can click on this little dot scene and click my canvas there. Whichever works better for you. Then we need to decide what method or function we're running. So notice it still says no function. So I'm going to click on that. Go down to my script name, which was change scenes. And then choose my method which in this case was called go to scene two. So now if I click on the button, it will go to the script that's attached to the canvas and run my go to scene two method. So I'm going to save this and I'm skipping one step right now just to show you a common error and then I'll show you how to fix it. So if I hit play and I click on go to scene two, it's not working yet, right? And also, down below, it has a little error. And in it, it says, scene two couldn't be loaded because it has not been added to the build settings or the asset bundle has not been loaded. So that is a clue that we forgot to add the scene we're trying to load into the build settings. To add the scene two to the build settings, go under File, Build Settings, and notice up top, it shows what scenes are in the build. So right now, the sample scene, which was the very first one, which we're not actually even using, is there. And we want to add the one with the buttons, and we also want the second scene. So I can click Add Open Scenes, but notice it's only adding scene one right now because that's the one that's open. So I could open the other one and click on Add Open Scenes. Another way I can add my additional scenes is go to my project in my scenes and notice I want scene two and I can grab it and drag it into my scenes. So now it has access to these scenes. I also want to point out this part where it says scene two, that is the name. If we want to actually call the scene by name, we would call it scene two. Notice no spaces. There's also a number on the right where it shows the index. So I can also refer to that scene by its index number. So when I open it, I could say load scene two instead of the word scene two. So I'm going to close this. And let's hit play. And when I run it, it takes us to scene two. Same thing would go for this Text Mesh Pro one. The process works exactly the same for the buttons. Um, we've got the on click. I can add the script. So I want this to be 
the canvas object. So I drag that over. I choose my class. So that's change scenes. And I'm going to go to scene two. And if I hit play, that will also work. So either one works the same. One more thing back to the script here. Notice what I was talking about the index. We've got scene manager load scene. I can say scene two, but I could also just use the index number there if I'd rather. So that would work too. So I'm going to save this and let's run it just to verify. So it works the same. So I hope this helps you. If you'd like additional scenes, you can use that in any part of your code to go to another scene. It's pretty easy. If you find this helpful, please check out my channel for other Unity and programming tips.